son got a heart of a warrior. Oh my God! Oh my God! A warrior never think about quitting. Launches the end zone. Oh! Pulls out the arrow and lets it fly. He is ready for the next opportunity to get out there and show the skills. Panics creates some magic. That was a big time throw. If it wasn't for your past, you can never really appreciate the future. Penix looking for his fifth touchdown to a dude. There it is. I think his future is going to be great. You can't talk about Michael Penix Jr.'s future without marveling at his past. A college football journey that over the last six years has seen plenty of exhilarating highs. They say he hit the pylon and Indiana wins. And crushing lows. Penix looks like he's hurt. The roads were very bumpy, you know, just a lot of ups and downs, always having to deal with adversity. A lot of hardship that I've been through, you know, with injuries and stuff like that. That right knee got caught underneath. We're not putting any weight on that right knee. I really didn't know what the ACL was, so when they told me that, I was I was like, okay, what does that mean? It was tough. It was just a lot going through my mind, you know, like what happens next. Then a true freshman at Indiana, Michael rehabbed and recovered from the 2018 knee injury in time to start the following season. But in early November 2019, he dislocated a shoulder joint in his non-throwing arm. Then in late November 2020, he tore his right ACL again. Michael Penix remains on the turf after sliding out of bounds and falling down hard. And after another grueling rehab, in October of 2021, he separated his throwing shoulder. Four straight seasons, ending prematurely. My lowest moment was probably in 2021. I just couldn't get a break. I just felt like I needed to be in a different headspace. I needed a new home. So in 2022, the Florida kid went further west to Washington, where former Indiana offensive coordinator Kalen DeBoer had been hired as head coach and wanted his former quarterback to join him. You couldn't ask for anything better. He had a great season, a great rapport with DeBoer, and it was like a win-win. When I came on my visit, we didn't really do no touring. It was like, Coach, I want to watch the film of the guys. I want to see who's going to be around me. And I already knew the offense. I wanted to play football, win football games. Success has followed. Wants to take the shot. Touchdown! Collectively in an undefeated regular season and individually as a Heisman Trophy finalist. But most importantly, a spot in the college football playoff and the chance to finish this season strong. It's surreal. It's like, wow, this really is happening. And going through all those injuries, it can be overwhelming, I think, for him. We try to tell him embrace it and stay humble. It made him be a better football player, a better person. And the light that's inside of you that shine brighter and brighter when you overcome those things. Everything isn't perfect, you know, but to persevere and come out on the other side is the greatest feeling.